So today's little discussion is going to be the difference between 1987 to 1991 taillights up to the 1992 to 1997 taillights. And I use that with an asterisk because Half Ton's got this body style, the body style that we all know and love, and the three quarter and one ton's got the same body style, but a 97 half ton got the new rounded minivan looking piece of crap body style. So once that distinction is made, then you can start seeing differences. This is 87 to 91 tail light. Note that the uh, overall shape is exactly the same. The only difference is R is uh, and this goes for both of them. You can see when I first flip it over here. Same tail light, same molds, everything's identical. And if you notice there, that's your, uh, I guess that's a, some kind of engineering number there. But uh, the really the only difference you're going to see in the tail lights is the reverse light uh, slot and on the 8th generation 87 to 91s, it wraps completely around. On the 9th generation 92 to 97s, it's just the little 2x2 two two square, whatever, 2x3, that is facing at the back of the truck. So this does have a bit better um, tail light to it as far as the reverse light portion is concerned. Now, as for harnesses, if you're grabbing a harness out of the junkyard, depending on 8th or 9th generations or even 7th gens, the 80 to 86 models, they bolt, they bolt in and they plug in the same uh, on the driver's side. The difference is you're going to see is up here is the same from a 8th gen to a ninth gen so you still have that 3157 bulb that doubles as a brake light and turn signal slash four-way flashers the difference you see is on the eighth gen trucks you have the uh, it's an 1156 bulb instead of the 3156 like the ninth gen has so just a quick distinction and a quick note also they did keep the same wire harness your reverse lights are always going to have a uh, black ground and a black wire with a purple tracer and you can see that over here in the the ninth gen stuff uh, it's the same now as the actual wires themselves at least for the passenger side wires that you're going to be seeing that's for your turn signals and running lights on the ace gens you've got your standard black brown solids and then you're going to have a orange wire with a blue tracer that would be for your turn signal there and then on the uh, ninth gen you're going to have also a uh, yeah it's the same exactly the same uh, so everything's the same between the harnesses colors everything match up the only difference is is if you if you're a stickler for keeping the 3156, 3157 bulbs in your ninth gen and you're using eighth gen harness, you're gonna to have to clip them out and transfer them over because the eighth gen has the old round uh, bulbs like you see a lot in Chevrolet stuff. So I'm glad they did make that distinction and move up. Uh, and the difference in your 3156s and 3157s, so whenever you look in here, a 3157 has two filaments, whereas a 3156, you only see one filament. And that's that's literally the only difference in the, the bulbs as far as everything else is concerned, because it's all, the body, the bulb, everything's the same, it plugs in the same. Uh, if you put a 3156 bulb in a 3157 housing, and another way to know the difference is two wires for a 3156 three wires for a 3157 because you have the extra filament to, to power on and off uh, basically you can use these to get home to do a, a 56 bulb up in a 57 housing you're just only going to have say running lights you're not going to have park lights 
but other than that 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 pretty much sums up the wiring harness differences for the taillights between the eighth and ninth generation trucks as i've described here